Looking elsewhere, coronavirus cases in India have exceeded 100,000, with nearly 5,000 new cases being reported in the past 24 hours. The rate of new infections is showing little signs of slowing more than two months into a nationwide lockdown. And since Sunday, there have been more than 4,000 new cases reported daily, and that's pushing hospitals to the brink. Now there's another crisis on the way. Super Cyclone Ampan is barreling towards eastern India's Odisha state and Bangladesh. It's expected to hit tomorrow with winds of up to 185 kilometers per hour. It could be one of the biggest storms in a decade. Millions of people have been moved to safety. Ishan Gak joins us live from New Delhi right now. So Ishan, India now one of the nations was hit by COVID-19. How is the healthcare system coping with the crisis since it's being pushed to the brink now? The hospitals, particularly in tier one cities, in metropolitan cities like New Delhi and Mumbai, now they are starting to feel the crunch with cases growing at 4,000, 4,500 every single day and more people are coming in than are being discharged. So if you've seen measures in cities like Mumbai where the government is now scrambling to build up new hospitals as fast as they can and accommodate more people into existing uh, hospitals with newly developed quarantine centers. And in New Delhi as well, we have seen similar measures taken up by the government. However, there are smaller towns and villages where the bulk of these cases are not appearing and there are multiple such cities where the number of recovered patients is actually higher than the number of active new cases. So there's possibly that uh, slight chance of hope. But when it comes to bigger cities, the government is pushing right now to build as many new quarantine centers as possible and to do them uh, to accommodate uh, many people who are going to come into these hospitals over the next few months. Experts have been saying that June and July are going to be particularly crucial for India when we could see cases doubling every 23 days, taking the total tally over 300,000. In the more immediate future, uh, Ishan, the cyclone is set to hit eastern uh, coast or the eastern coast in just a matter of hours. Is there enough space in shelters for the thousands who have had to evacuate? There wouldn't be, frankly, to say there wouldn't be enough space in these shelters, but the states of West Bengal and Orissa, which are going to bear the brunt of this particular cyclone, they have a number of coastal districts facing the Bay of Bengal. So they have faced similar natural calamities multiple times in the past. So they're naturally more prepared. They've got the infrastructure in place and they are now working with the federal government to update these infrastructures to help uh, as many people as possible. But having said that, they are also improvising a little bit. They're thinking on their feet. So in the state of Orissa, for example, they have taken these quarantine centers meant for COVID-19 patients and they have turned them into uh, temporary shelters for people who have been moved away to be saved from the cyclone. Now, this does raise questions over the sanitization of those facilities, over the health and safety measures being taken to clean them. And these two governments of Bengal and Orissa say that they are taking every single step possible to make sure that uh, all these facilities are safe for everybody to stay in. But a bigger challenge yet is to move away, to evacuate these thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people who live in smaller villages nearby the coastline. Okay, man, thanks for that update. Ishan Gag speaking to us from New Delhi.